Hello, my name is Gavin Newlands, and I'm going to talk through the latest additions to adhesive patches in Oasis Primer. First, a quick reminder of the benefits of the connection tool in Primer. So the connections tool allows you to easily create, modify and delete spot welds, bolts, adhesive and other connections. So when creating connections in Primer, connection entities are created. And these are primer entities that sit alongside the underlying connection FE, such as beams or solid elements. And the connection entity makes it easy for you to manage, check and modify connections. Additionally, the connection table shown here permits easy modification of many connections simultaneously. So there are two main types of adhesive connection in primer. On the left, you can see lines of adhesive. So these are constant width lines of solid elements projected to the attaching panels. We also have patch adhesive, which you can see on the right. So here we have an arbitrary area of solid elements projected to the attaching panels. The process for creating the adhesive patches is thus. Let's say we want to create an area of adhesive between two panels. First, you select the shells you want to project to create the solids. These are the source shells. Primer uses the source shells to project to the attaching panels and create the solids. Alternatively, if you didn't want to use the mesh present on the attaching shells, you can bring in an external mesh to act as the source shells. An example here might be that the adhesive areas have been explicitly modelled in CAD and these can be easily meshed and converted to adhesive solids in primer. In previous versions of Oasis Primer, there were some limitations in the creation of adhesive patches. The main one being in the creation of adhesive that connected solid parts together. You would still require those shell elements to act as source, which would mean you'd have to import shell mesh representations of adhesive areas or coat solid parts and use the resulting shells as source. This could be fiddly as solid parts would often be meshed in tetrahedrons, so the resulting trier shell mesh would usually have to be remeshed to a quad dominant mesh to use as effective source. In Primer 19, it's now possible to directly select solid mesh surfaces as source for adhesive patch creation, making it much easier to create and manage these types of connections. So let's look at an example here where we want to create some adhesive between these two parts. The green uh, part is a tetrahedron solid mesh and the yellow part is a shell mesh. So if I go to connection, create, and I want to create some adhesive, and I want to create some adhesive patch entities. So just specify a part ID for those elements that I'm going to create. Now the bottom here is where you select the source shells, but can now select source solids. Now there's a couple of options down the bottom here as well for extruding from existing mesh and extruding from quad bias grid. So we'll use the existing mesh first and I'll select the source solids. So I can use the viz option here and the feature line option to automatically propagate out and select um, the entire face here for source. If I click create, this will create a, some solid adhesive projected to the surface based on that underlying um, solid face. You can see the triangle based solids. Now if I switch to extrude from quad biased grid, I'll select the same face. So the whole face is selected there. And now if I click create, Primer creates a regular um, quad dominant mesh essentially to use as source when creating these solid elements. So the um, original mesh on the surfaces isn't changed at all. This is all internal to Primer. 
So as you can see, it's much easier now to create um, adhesive patches from solid parts as a source. Thank you.